Welcome back to another vlog. It has been about two weeks since I filmed anything on this van. Today I'm gonna to focus on putting finishes on the cabinets like veneers, laminates, and edge banding, maybe a little painting, and hopefully get around to building some drawer boxes and some shelves as well. This has been the views every morning at the shop. A little messy in here. Got a lot going on. And then walking into here. I started a lot of the laminating for the cabinets yesterday. As you can see, we got some Phoenix laminate on here. And then I have the matching edge band on the bottom and then walnut veneer for the front facing. So that when you open your cabinet, you see walnut veneer on the front facing edges of all the cabinets. This is gonna be the full standing closet right after the shower. We have two French doors. And then from here down, we have drawers. This is gonna be the drawer face that goes right here. And these drawers are glued together with four pieces of walnut. So one, two, three, four. And I tried to grade match it as the best I could and they turned out pretty well. So this is gonna look awesome. I always like to use real hardwood. It gives you a lot of creative freedom like making these handles and not have to worry about plywood showing when I drill into the wood. Look who's back. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Look at our awesome signs. Show them what you've done so far, because we've missed literally everything. And another tripod bites the dust. Put your head cabinets in. I got my ceiling in. I don't think you've shown that yet on your YouTube. And I got my microwave oven um, the thing i've been working on for literally five days my staircase <laughs> where does the staircase lead into the bed so it's going to be a platform bed back here platform bed right where i'm standing side to side and the staircase has all sorts of uh hidden storage if you will because this pulls out this lifts up, and this also pulls out. That is a drawer and a half. It is. Really uh, confusing and complicated geometry to engineer, but I like how it came out. It looks awesome. Thank you. Now that you guys are up to speed, I'm gonna continue laminating and veneering, so we're just gonna jump right into that. This is the first time we're able to work in the rain yeah. as if it's not even raining. It's coming down out there. And inside, dry as could be. All right, yesterday was my birthday and Abby got me two gifts that I never could have guessed I would have gotten and I love them. One of them is KC lights. Check it out. So excited about this. I know, me too. We're both gonna have matching KC lights. Abby has the same, same pair. So here they are. These are gonna go right above the hood of my van. Some additional exterior lighting. And this gift from Aaron and Abby. I like equally as much if not better. A heated Milwaukee jacket. And it runs off of my pin nailer battery. That has to be the coolest part. You open up this pocket, plug it in. Put it back in your pocket. Check this out. 
pull down on the little button right there, we have a heated jacket. It has like heating all up here, down here, and on the back as well. Between these two gifts, I would easily say this is the best birthday I've ever had. Right now we're lucky to have two separate router tables and one has the trim bit which you just saw me use and this Craig router table, we permanently have an eighth round bit on this. This is what I have so far for the whole closet area. This side is gonna have a bunch of wine glasses, cups, plates, and some coffee stuff down here. And then over here is going to be a hanger so you can hang clothes all the way up. Right now I have satin water-based polyurethane and I'm just gonna be polyurethaning all of this veneer you see behind me. All of the veneer was polyurethane three times in here as well. You can already see the sheen, the light refracting. And then over here in this section above the countertop but below the upper is going to be Roman clay. So I'm doing that here. This is going to be inside of a cabinet and that is going to be inside of the upper head cabinet. And then behind here I have the drawer faces polyurethane as well. Next up for this wardrobe is gonna be the French doors. This is the top section of all of those drawers back there. Um, I glued four pieces of walnut together and this is what is left over on top of the drawers just so that it's grain matched all the way through even though it's gonna be a little trim piece. The idea is to leave an inch and a half frame around the full door and on the back side, I wanna route in a little bit so that I can epoxy the quarter inch plexiglass from the back side. Yeah, there you go. And this door is gonna go right here. So that's roughly what we're gonna have. Wow. <laughs> this is the grain matched drawers that continue all the way down. I have five of these and this is going to start right here and then there's going to be drawers all the way down. All right, so as you can see behind me here, I attached all of the drawer faces and started playing around with the handles. They don't have any bottoms and they're not laminated yet, so they are going to come apart. I just wanted to make sure if there was going to be any issues that I could catch them now before it's in the van. I've also been attaching light strips to the bottom side of each of my shelves that are going into here. And I actually used a, so a soldering iron for the first time to attach those wires. And these are going to be sitting just like this in here. 
there will be lights on each section here, down here, and then they're already attached up here next to the wine holders. Now I'm just gonna mount this into place and then start reassembling it. All right, some time has passed and it is already getting pretty laid out and it started pouring rain here at the shop, but nonetheless, I got all the drawers in, as you can see here, and I got some of the cups and plates and bowls in. And on the right, I got two shirts just to show you guys what this is gonna look like. I'm gonna end this video showing you guys a close up of the closet. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Let's show you guys those shots.